What's going on guys, today I'm bringing you a video tutorial on how to start streaming from your PlayStation 4 using the Elgato HD capture card. Now for this part of the tutorial we are going to be focusing on the software and configuring your Elgato HD capture card. The first part of the tutorial was configuring and setting up your hardware. So this is basically the software version. So first things first, we need the Elgato gaming software. And for that you need to go to elgato.com slash game capture HD support and there we have the Windows version and the Mac version we're on Windows and it's version 3.5 that's the latest so go go ahead click on it and download it I already have it installed so I don't need to download it anymore once you've downloaded it you can open it and it should look something like this so in the background I have my uh, my PlayStation 4 gameplay and as you can see I have some settings and we're gonna go over them one by one the first settings that we are going to look at are the game capture HD settings you click on the cogwheel right next to the name and then we get a bunch of options in a pop-up so the first option is our input device I have my PlayStation 4 selected because I'm using that. If you have something else, you select it from the list. Next, we have the video input device. Standard, it's on HDMI and you cannot change it. Then, a very important option is the audio input. Make sure this is on analog audio. Because if you have it on HDMI audio, you won't get your gameplay from your PlayStation 4. Um, that's why we also use the... Elgato chat link cable. Next up we have the HDMI color range. You can choose for standard or expanded. I'll show you difference by clicking on it. This is standard and this is expanded. In my opinion standard is a little bit darker and I just don't want my stream looking like it's too dark so that's why I went for expanded. Next up we have the profiles. You have mobile, standard, 720 or 1080. Here you need to know what your capture card is, uh, is, able, is capable of. My capture card is kept at 720, so it's unnecessary to select the 1080. That's why I select 720. I selected the option allow 60 frames per second. I did it, but my capture card can only go to uh, 30 frames per second. So basically that option isn't really required then the quality depends on how strong your computer is because some computers may have issues um, running on the best option others um, may need to use the better quality like that. but I'm running on the best option then cropping I have selected none and I have deselected the convert standard definition and stretch standard definition input. I've disabled that because I think my output is good as it is so I don't really need to need to check these options. Next we are going to take a look at our game capture HD preferences and for that we click the cogwheel on the top right of your program. So we select it, we get a pop-up and our first tab shows us that we have capture locations. So you can choose wherever you want your files to be saved. Um, I made a, a Game Capture HD file on my um, external drive. And then there I went ahead and made some subdirectories, naming it library, file export, and screenshot. So basically all my gameplay goes to my file export and all my screenshots go to my screenshot folder. Oh, I disabled it. And then basically the next two options are very important to me. You have the enable flashback recording. And what this does is if you're not recording, as you can see here in the bottom left, this is your recording button. So if you press this, you're going to record from the minute, from the second, sorry, from the second that you press this button. But if you have the Elgato game capture open and you're not recording, this option allows you, if you had if you had been streaming for a while and you're like, damn, I really wish I clipped that or uh, I wish I was recording like 15 minutes ago, 
you can just move this all the way back to here for example and then just push the record button and it's gonna basically start from where you wanted it to start and then it's gonna keep recording as long as you go on that's that option and then the enable stream command this is going to allow you to to create overlays so overlays for when you're streaming uh, basically you can add a webcam you can add a banner you can add uh, stream labels uh, stuff like that then we have the sharing tab these are all the options if you want to share stuff I don't really use that then you have the file exports I have the first option enabled and and the last three options are basically the options that matter for me so when I export my files I want them to be in separate files so I have my gameplay separate I have my webcam separate and I have my chat audio separate and that's what makes the Elgato game capture for me the best option to stream all right next we have updates we have hotkeys advanced that are actually basic that are basically stuff that you can look into for yourself but I don't really see them any importance for them in this tutorial so I'm gonna skip that alright so the next thing I want you guys to take a look at is our game audio tab and the live commentary tab as you can see here I have a little bit background music from my gameplay you don't see it too good but it's there trust me over here you can manage your audio so you can tune it up or you can tune it down depending on your preferences or how you find your gameplay audio next we have our live commentary here you select your microphone that you are going to be using to talk to your stream so it's not your uh, your your microphone from your headset is the USB microphone that you plugged into your computer um, to talk to your chat so for me I use the blue snowball you have an integrate microphone and I have a microphone from my webcam apparently but I use my blue snowball but as you can see I'm talking into my microphone but there is no audio coming in and that's because you need to enable this option and as soon as you start capturing from selected audio device as soon as you enable this you can see that I'm talking so I hope everything is clear about the settings from your game capture and how you need to record and stuff that's all pretty straightforward so I don't think you should have any trouble with that if you do leave a comment down below and I'll reply to it and try to help you as much as I can next up we are going to go over the streaming part so how to stream using the Elgato HD capture card and for that first of all we need to link our twitch account and as you can see I'll, I already have my twitch account linked but if you need to do this you can just simply push the plus button then you get a pop-up and you just need to log into your your twitch account and basically that's it and then you you see here this is my profile and you can see on twitch so see I have no other accounts and then you can delete it from here um, you can adjust your stream title as soon as you go live also what you need to put here I put it on 4 megabytes per second but the lower you go the worse your quality is going to be um, from streaming but this you need to check out for yourself to see how good your internet is and how fast it can upload can it upload the 4 megabytes per second um, you can do this in a, on a speed test in your uh, in your browser but also we are going to look at the advanced streaming settings and here you can you can select your server I have to use the Amsterdam server because in Belgium we don't have one um, next up we have our maximum resolution and because I'm using the Elgato HD it cannot use 
um, 1080 so very important know your capture card and what it's capable of game capture HD 720p and 30 frames per second so you don't have to put higher values here like 60 frames per second or 1080 if you're using an Elgato HD use these settings now that we have connected our stream account next we are going to take a look at some extra settings that we can define like a video title basically this is your uh, file title when it is saved to your folder on your drive then we can define our game this is the game that is going to be defined on your twitch channel so not in your files this is going to be on your twitch channel and you can update it by pressing this button same goes for your stream title you can update it by clicking this arrow right here um, and then basically when you want to go live you just press this streaming button and the commentary button because if you don't press the commentary button your chat won't hear you talk to them so very important and if you don't push this button you won't be streaming so yeah that's basically it for the streaming part so remember if you want to record press this button if you forgot to press it just go back in time and select from where you want to start recording and then you can press the record button or just leave it right there and then push it now I'll quickly go over the stream command and these are all the scenes that are integrated um, with the Elgato with the Elgato HD capture card um, I'll show you this is a default one so there's no layers and I'll show you an example this is the one that I'm currently using as you can see I have my webcam and I have my stream labels but I have another one and here I have a banner and I have also some stream labels and a webcam down here um, you and then you have the, the ones integrated from Elgato uh, you can add them by clicking uh, edit scenes sorry and then you can add one here and then get scenes and then you can basically get some default scenes that are supported by Elgato so if you're not really creative you can get your ones from there but if you want to like me create your own layers and your own uh, overlay you can do this right here as you can see I integrated my webcam I integrated Streamlabs and over here is where my pop-ups are gonna be but to do that you need to go to your add overlay on the right side you can add something new like a new image um, a new web page so as you can see here I have my Streamlabs integrations these are all my plugins like uh, the pop-up and the follower alerts uh, the these are the pop-ups and the stream labels but you can also add an, a webcam or your image and basically then you can just paste them on on your overlay and place them wherever you want uh, crop them stuff like that and then you can just save it and then as you can see this is my layout that I used to to stream to uh, Twitch. So guys, that was basically it. My video tutorial on how to stream from your PlayStation using the Elgato HD capture card. I want to wish you guys the best of luck. If you have any questions, just post them in the comment section below. And um, good luck with your stream career. And I'll see you guys in the next video.